The most important thing, uh, I think the most important thing is the people that, I, that, I, that I've met along the way. Uh, there's no way you can do this by yourself. Everybody uh, that helped me along the way, I, I needed that help. So uh, I think people, people and connection with people. And uh, I've, I've never gotten anything that I've done musically through an audition. It was because somebody said, this guy, you, you need to be that guy. And that's how it, that's my whole career. I, I, everything I've auditioned for, I, I don't think I got it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the people that are open and, and willing to, uh, to lend a hand. That, that's the most important thing. A lot of luck. It's a lot, a lot of luck. And also the fact that what we alluded to before was that I'm just a little peculiar. So that helped me to write songs that were a little different and maybe got noticed. And it also, I'm just, uh, I also had the, the um, training from a guy like Roger Collins and, and also um, other, uh, other, my phone's over. Other, uh, you know, other people that, that, that really showed me how to be a, what being a professional entertainer was all about, too. And uh, got encouragement from, uh, from my playing, you know, from people like Muddy Waters and Robert Lockwood and stuff to keep me, keep me going. And, and uh, it was a, a, there's so many, uh, really a confluence of all kinds of fortuitous uh, events. I mean, just meeting little Charlie and hooking up with him, you know, he was like, to, to me, I don't know why he isn't more famous as a guitar player. I mean, there's, I, I, I'd rather listen to him than to almost anybody, you know, just, just if I'm listening to somebody take a solo, you know, he's a, he's a real exciting player. Uh, so, so there's, there's, just so so many things. I mean, it's just partly luck and partly genetics and partly time and place and and all, you know all of that. You know, um, but I'm grateful for it. You know, because I'm not <laughs> pretty useless otherwise. So <laughs> it kept me out of the labor pool bed for a long time. So I'm happy. Developing long-lasting relationships with our fans that we have now and keeping that going and just expounding on that and just making our friend circle bigger and just continuing to maintain that and take care of ourselves and, and really just have a good time with our friends and everything but still make sure that we can continue on and make it a long-lasting thing. I think it, I, I think the clue is in the failures. Um, <laughs> I I either did you, you you're not supposed to know about the failures, but you have to have failures. If you're not if you not don't fail anywhere, then you're probably stagnating <laughs> because you have to go forward. And if you go forward, you might go in the wrong direction. So everybody has failures, or should have. And when I look at those, I just think, what on earth made me think that that was the right thing to do? Well, at the time, it seemed like a good idea. And... I either did the wrong thing at the right time or the right thing at the wrong time. And those are the ways that you can fail. And I think that I've done, for the most part, the thing that I was supposed to do. I've, I'm, a, I'm just such a firm believer in this. I think, I think God has a, a thing for everybody that is their destiny, their thing to fulfill or be fulfilled by and I just think my successes have been when I've got on God's plan if you like. Uh, not rushing into things so much. Um, 
developing and just I think just kind of growing as a young man and, and, uh, and taking the time to think things over and try and make right decisions also goes along with like musical development and my personal development kind of go hand in hand you know I try not to like I said rush into too many things and just jump both feet in without knowing what I'm doing and I just try and pay attention you know, just try and be aware of what's going on the validation that I've gotten from the older generation of this music uh, uh, and, and music and or um, professional people, I guess, to have a Dick Waterman, who I respect as much as my parents, to have a Dick Waterman tell me I'm doing good or like what I'm doing or to have Peter Goralnik give me advice on how to publish a book or to have Bruce Iglauer talk, talk to me and listen to what I say, um, those kinds of validations as a writer and as a person who's trying to navigate his way in this, this world of blues uh, have been very important. You know, um, I have that book, Children of the Blues, and it's the musicians telling what the, what, what, how their older generation validated them. And, and I felt the same thing, that... Uh, I would think probably the most important thing was that I was given a, 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 a nice job, kind of, oh, that was really good, or keep up the good work, you know. Bob Burrell with Blues Review way, way back. Um, some of the many people who've been on the board of directors. Uh, and, and that sort of um, made me want to do better. Made me want to do better. I don't think there is one thing. I mean, it's... If there is one, I think it's the old saying, you know, the harder you work, the luckier you get, you know. Um, I think it's been a mixture of um, being very focused and never sort of, you know, giving up and, as I said before, just following your heart and doing it because you have to, really, not just because you want to, you know. And um, secondly, having, finding, being lucky enough to find people who really believe in you and, and support you, you know. When those two things come together, it's... Um, you know, the best you can hope for, really. Well, I just kind of hung in there and kept doing it. I've always not been consumed by my career. I have a 15-year-old boy I'm raising now, and my whole life is not just playing, but when I do play, I really enjoy it. But I've seen some people just get consumed by their career. Career is fine, but it's just part of life, you know. Don't get too serious about it. If you're going to be real serious about music, you need to be in classical music. Blues, you can't get too serious about it. you got to have fun with it, you know.